it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. Anybody can become angry, that is easy, but to be angry with the right person and to the right degree and at the right time and for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power and is not easy. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. At his best, Man is the noblest of all animals, separated from law and justice he is the worst. Republics decline into democracies and democracies degenerate into despotisms. He who is unable to live in society, or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself, must be either a beast or a god. The ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. The ultimate value of life depends upon awareness and the power of contemplation rather than upon mere survival. Courage is the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees the others. Moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, temperate by doing temperate acts, brave by doing brave acts. Jealousy is both reasonable and belongs to reasonable men, while envy is base and belongs to the base. For the one makes himself get good things by jealousy, while the other does not allow his neighbor to have them through envy. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life, those the art of living well. Suffering becomes beautiful when anyone bears great calamities with cheerfulness, not through insensibility but through greatness of mind. Wishing to be friends is quick work, but friendship is a slow ripening fruit. It is just that we should be grateful, not only to those with whose views we may agree, but also to those who have expressed more superficial views, for these also contributed something, by developing before us the powers of thought. To run away from trouble is a form of cowardice and, while it is true that the suicide braves death, he does it not for some noble object but to escape some ill.
The most perfect political community is one in which the middle class is in control, and outnumbers both of the other classes. Mothers are fonder than fathers of their children because they are more certain they are their own. For one swallow does not make a summer, nor does one day, and so too one day, or a short time, does not make a man blessed and happy. I have gained this from philosophy, that I do without being commanded what others do only from fear of the law. If liberty and equality, as is thought by some, are chiefly to be found in democracy, they will be best attained when all persons alike share in government to the utmost. The state comes into existence for the sake of life and continues to exist for the sake of good life. Persuasion is achieved by the speaker's personal character when the speech is so spoken as to make us think him credible. We believe good men more fully and more readily than others, this is true generally whatever the question is, and absolutely true where exact certainty is impossible and opinions are divided. A tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment from a ruler whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. We become just by performing just action, temperate by performing temperate actions, brave by performing brave action. All human actions have one or more of these seven causes, chance, nature, compulsions, habit, reason, passion, desire.